All right, this is our longitudinal um, model of our spinal cord. Um, when we talk about your central nervous system, it does include your brain and your spinal cord. Now, anything that comes off of the spinal cord is considered to be part of your peripheral nervous system. So spinal nerves, which exit off of the spinal cord, um, are all part of the peripheral nervous system. And then when we talk about the nerves that exit off of the brainstem, these are called cranial nerves. Um, when we talk about the peripheral nervous system, you will commonly hear the word um, ganglia. A ganglia is a group of neuron cell bodies. Um, these ganglia are part of the autonomic nervous system. Um, the other word, a ganglia is a group of neuron cell bodies. The other word is when you see a branching network of nerves. Um, you can see it here. You can also see it, a branching network of nerves that is called a plexus. Here's a plexus, branching network of nerves. All of these are plexus. Now, um, your spinal cord does exit at the foramen magnum. It is a continuation of your brain stem. So this is all part of your spinal cord. Now your spinal cord does have a region um, in the neck called the cervical enlargement. This is called the thoracic region of the spinal cord. This is the lumbar enlargement. And then your spinal cord actually ends at like L1, L2, and it's called the conus medullaris. Conus medullaris, so it literally makes the shape of a cone. Now, to anchor your spinal cord by the conus medullaris, um, there is a, a filament that comes off of the pia mater that goes straight down and it anchors um, the spinal cord to the tip of the coccyx called phylum terminale. It's just the very center. Now there is this section that comes off near the conus medullaris. This is called the cauda equina. The word cauda means tail and equina means horse. So the horse's tail, the cauda equina. The center is the phylum terminale, the conus medullaris, lumbar enlargement, the thoracic region of the spinal cord, lumbar enlargement, and then just your spinal cord. Now, the plexus that comes off of your neck, which you see here, this little tiny baby, is called the cervical plexus. Now, the branching network of nerves that go to your arms is called the brachial plexus on either side. Down here, all the branching network of nerves that you see is part of the lumbar plexus. And then you can see the coccyx right here. So your sacrum is literally going to be right here. So all of this is going to include your sacral plexus. Now, I wanna look closely at the spinal cord. When you see this purple, the purple represents your dura mater. So these are meninges. We do have three layers of meninges that surround the spinal cord. So your dura mater is the outermost meninge. Now, coming off of the PR mater would be denticulate ligaments, which is right here. It's number 11, so all of these are denticulate ligaments. The nerves that are in between your ribs are called intercostal nerves. And then as the nerves enter in um, through the dura mater, you can see that this is going to be the anterior root of the spinal nerve. So spinal nerves, remember, branch into two. Behind it would be the posterior root ganglion. And then these little things right here are the posterior, I mean the anterior rootlets. Rootlets, the anterior root, the spinal nerve, the posterior root, the posterior root ganglion to make the spinal nerve. Denticulate ligaments and dura mater. You can see all of those structures.